What's up YouTube, it's your favorite nerd with a throbber, and today I have another video about the Minecraft server that I play on, Super Fun Time server. Uh, but unlike the other videos, this one is pretty much a beginner's guide to the server. It's going to give you some information uh, that, is that is a necessity to play on the server, and other stuff like that. It's pretty much to help you out getting started. Alright, as usual, the IP for the server is mc.superfuntime.org. So you go ahead and connect. And you should spawn right here, which is right in front of the server rules. And next to the spawn town, which has not loaded yet. Let that load. Alright, so the spawn town is over there. As you can see, the spawn town is new. We have recently, or not so recently, but a few weeks back, we've changed maps to this new epically, epically beautiful map. Uh, the spawn town was designed, I believe, by Tenno. He's the server designer person thing. But uh, as soon as you start, what I guarantee that you will need to do is read the rules board. Here's the general server rules. And up these stairs are building rules. Uh, I suggest that you read both of these because they're both very important. And uh, before I start going on about other things, I want to tell you about something that has been uh, applied to the server as of lately. I think it was today. Was it today? Yeah, probably today. The chat thing. Oh, sure. Alright, well, what, okay, it doesn't matter when it was applied, but it's on there now. And that's the new chat. Now there are local chats and world chats. The local chats uh, will, communi or will communicate you with the 15 closest people around you or within 100 blocks. Uh, if it's within 100 blocks, you'll hear all of them. But if 15 people are not within 100 blocks, then you'll hear just 15 people. But if there are 20 people within 100 blocks of you, you'll hear all 20 of those people. But uh, some commands for the new chat are if you just type in regular, like, hello, that you can see it says LOC, and then it shows my rank, and then my name, and then my message. Lo LOC stands for local, and those are the people around you, the 15 or within the 100 blocks. But there is also 4, uh, four slash SH, ah, S -H, which stands for shout. And then everything you <laughs> everything you write in there, everyone on the server will see. So as you can see, it doesn't say LOC before my name. That means it's worldwide. Another one is four slash receivers. And this shows all the people that are within your local range of chat. As you can see, there's a few people down there. I'm not going to list off the names or count whatever. But those are them. Also, another thing to know about the new chat is if you say anything with the word help in it, that will automatically go to the guides. The guides are on the server to help new players or anyone who needs uh, helping, questions, information, anything like that. So, like, uh, if you just type in help, that will go worldwide to all the guides and everyone. But if you type, like, I need help, anything, any statement with the word help in it will automatically go to the guides. Alright, so that's a quick bit about the chatting, the new chat system. I'm going to take you over to one of the most important parts about the spawn town. And that would be the Emporium. The Emporium is a place that uh, you would mainly go to to sell and buy things. Uh, I say sell and buy things because the server uses its own currency which on the server is called imp bucks, EMP bucks. Uh, to check how much money you'd have, you'd type in forward slash money. And as you can see down there, it says money balance and then 726,000, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, but this is the Emporium. If you want to quickly get here, say if you're at your house, you can type in forward slash warp EMP. The warps are used to quickly get around the world. There are 
hundreds of warps on here. You can find them, you can ask people for warps, but uh, you cannot create them unless you are a donator rank or higher. But uh, here's the imp, there's the two lines, you'd go through there, they're closed right now. But you go in there and there'll be two channels, uh, one with water going towards the manager or admin above, and one coming uh, from the manager and admin above to you. If you want to sell things, you drop it in the channel that's going to the manager of the Emporium, and then you wait a few seconds and they'll pay you in, uh, in the inbox. But if you want to buy, you tell the manager or whoever what you want to buy, and you use this code to pay them. You do forward slash money, pay, and then this is, uh, you take the manager's name, like uh, Xavier Ram. He's in the in forum most of the time. So like if you did that, pay, and then like if it totaled out to a hundred or thousand two hundred and thirty four dollars, you type that in and then you hit enter. So it's money, pay, manager admin's name and the amount of money you want to pay them. You can also do cents, so it's like point eighty seven. But I'm not gonna send him any money because he'd probably get confused of why I'm doing that. So I guess that's pretty much covered. Uh, now, what you would probably want to know is where you can build. You can pretty much build anywhere as long as it's not in other people's places or not too close to spawn. So if you want to build something huge like say a mansion, you'd pick a direction and you'd walk in that direction until you're far enough away from spawn and far enough away from other people's items or places. You want to, you don't want to build like butted up to someone else's house because they could get weirded out. They may not want people to be there. They don't want to expand their own stuff. So just make sure you build far enough away from others so that uh, you don't have any problems. Also make sure you abide by the building rules whenever you plan on building. Alright, but if you don't want to instantly build a huge mansion, which you probably won't want to because you won't have all the supplies, you probably want to go to one of two places, Warp Start or Warp Start 2. I'm going to go ahead and take you to Warp Start. Warp Start will take you here. There's some more building rules, the server rules, and all that. There's the board there. But uh, you just go out one of these gates and they'll automatically open for you. You'd walk around until you find an empty lot. Now, if I'm correct, there's an empty lot up here and to the right. Gotta make sure I'm not missing anything. Alright, yeah. As you can see, there's a few empty lots right here. And whenever you find a lot that you feel it's cozy, like I like this one, it looks beautiful, I like the two torches, few tor or yeah, five torches, I like those. And you see a sign right here that says, please build in the lot. Alright, so what you do, if you want to claim this lot, you'd break down the sign and then write your name on it. That way we know who the lot belongs to. But then, after you've done all that, you'd probably want to go get some materials. But yet, you don't want to automatically start off with no tools or anything. So what you could do is you can type in uh, one of two or both of these kits forward slash kit you can do tools which will give you the assorted uh, tools like I have down here these five tools pickaxe, axe, shovel, hoe and so the sword and it give you those you can only use that kit once a week and then there's also forward slash kit torches like that and that will give you five torches like I have right there you can place these torches, light up the area, make sure nothing spawns there. And then uh, you can go ahead and take your axe and you'd probably go get some wood from trees. But this is, I want to show you this really big no-no right here. As you can see this tree right here is now floating because someone got lazy and then just broke the trunk of it. But they didn't go ahead and get the rest of it. This is a really big no-no. It makes the server look ugly and the server managers and admins and the owner all hate this. 
So I very much plead with you to cut down all of the trees. That will pay off because it looks better around your house and you don't want your house looking bad. So if you do that, and say you've already got all your wood, you've built all your pla your house or mansion that's 400 stories tall. Now you want to make sure it's protected from anyone who wants to steal. Like say if uh, someone comes in there's like, oh, they're just evil. They just come in and they'll break your dirt, tear down your house and steal your stuff. What you could do is go in the chat and ask for help from a mod. Uh, mods will come and they'll protect your house and what this means is only you and whoever else you put on the list can build or destroy in that area like you build your uh, you build your house uh, you don't want to uh, destroy it by some random person so you get it protected and then no one else besides you or who else whoever else you have a mod put on the list can edit it so that keeps you protected and keeps everyone protected and makes sure nothing uh, goes wrong. And if you want to check protection, so you get a string, like I have right here, string. And you can right click anywhere to see if the protection is there. As you can see, world guard, no defined regions here. That means there's no protection there. But if you go back to spawn and you right click anywhere, it'll say spawn town and surroundings protection. That's the protection name. And it'll probably tell you whether or not you can build there. It spawn definitely. You probably won't be able to build there unless you're an admin or whatever. But uh, more things. Uh, this is the survival server. So if you die, uh, you lose your items. You can't complain and try to get your items back. This is this is a survival server. So it's pretty much like you died in single player. You have to either run back and try to pick up your items, or your items are lost forever. Uh. Another, th another note on that is that we can't return items if it's griefed without anyone being able to find out. That's why you got to make sure you have your places protected. And so you got the protection floating trains if you die. Also, another thing, uh, since this is a survival server, and you have to deal with the nighttime. So you can't just ask uh, mods or whoever to make it daytime just so you can have a daytime because you like a daytime. Uh, uh, whenever you first join, you will be the rank of guest. And if you want to become higher than guest, you have to do two things. One, you have to register at www.superfuntime.org. You have to register. And then you have to play on the server for 24 hours. Yep, 24 hours. And then after you uh, play for 24 hours, you go back on the server, and you can request to become a member. And if you get approved, Cowley, the owner, will come onto the server and promote you as soon as he can. He comes on pretty much once or twice a day. He lives in Romania, so if you live in America, uh, he may come on late for you or very early for you. So he probably won't be on the same time as you. So if you don't get instantly promoted, don't freak out. Don't complain to everyone in the chat. You, you'll you get promoted. But if you don't want to wait the 24 hours, or you want to be higher than a member, you can donate. So once again, to donate, just go straight to superfuntime.org. Hit the donate button. Donate with your PayPal. I believe you have to use PayPal. Uh, make sure you have permission to use the credit card that you use with PayPal. Uh, we don't want anyone to get in trouble with their parents. We don't want Tali to get in trouble with their parents because you wanted to donate, but you didn't want to ask your parents. Another thing, to help out the server, if you can, go to Mind Status or go back to superfuntime.org and uh, click the link that says something about voting. If you vote, that attracts more people to the server, then we get more donators that keep up the server. And uh, also, if you... Uh, if you vote, type in your name in the field that requests it, and you can get 5,000 influx instantly added to your account whenever you vote. You can vote once a day, every day, for the rest of your life, and become a millionaire on the game. Um, I'm pretty sure I've talked about everything that a starting up player needs to know. 
but if I didn't, you can ask me, uh, any of the guides, any of the staff members, or anyone on the server. Uh, everyone's really nice, you can ask them, don't be afraid, none of us bot, no one bites anyone, or at least that, happen that hasn't happened in a while, but uh, you can go ahead and ask anyone. Also, on a note, if you break an item like glass, you will probably have someone like me, a trainee, they'll pop up next to you and they'll make sure that was your glass. That's another uh, preventative measure that we have against griefers, that way uh, no one can go around and break glass because glass is not, you don't get anything from it so you can't just replace it. Or if you have, if you break any valuable items, uh, you'll probably have a trainee pop up just to make sure everything's fine. We don't want anything to go haywire. Alright, uh, I'm Goremaker and thank you for listening. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the glitch modulator. Sip